my channel Karina Star Tarot. Today I will be doing an extra special reading for Capricorn. Please bear in mind that this extra special reading is still a general reading so take what resonates for you and leave what does not. And please don't forget to hit the like button and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Remember it's free to subscribe and if you'd like to donate to help keep this channel going or purchase a private reading from me just click on the links in the description below this video. Thank you. So Capricorn, as usual, I've already pre-shuffled these cards, but I will shuffle them again for you on camera. And I'm using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck. So I will be picking up on the energy from the cards. So I could be picking up on your energy or your partner's energy or a member of your family's energy or your friend's energy. And cross watchers are welcome to join this reading. Then I'm going to select a card from Nature's Whispers Oracle deck. Beautiful cards these are. And again, I've already pre-shuffled these cards, but I'll shuffle them again for you on camera. And I'm going to also select a couple of Romance Angel cards as well for you. And again, I've already pre-shuffled this deck as well. But I will shuffle them again for you on camera. And one last shuffle. So let's begin your reading Capricorn. So we're starting off with the Six of Pentacles. With the Six of Pentacles, this is all this is all about balance, getting getting that I suppose something that's very fair and equal for you. Um, it might be that um, you you feel like um, things in the past have not been very balanced in your love life and so you're looking for love that is fair and balanced and someone that will be you know attentive to you that will be caring and loving and you know you want if if you're going to be with someone you you want you want it to be worth it you know you want you, you want to, otherwise there's no point and six of pentacles this is earth energy so it could be dealing with capricorn taurus or virgo next you have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is all about a very fast communication, fast back and forth communication. So it could be via communication via emails, text, mobile, etc. And 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 it might be that um, this is communication perhaps after a period of no contact. So perhaps there there was someone special in your life and maybe you could find yourself um 
in the second part of February leading into March um, but I feel like it's more likely to be the latter part of February um, perhaps having um, quite a bit of communication with this person after perhaps not having any contact and um, it, it and or maybe if, if there's no one presently in your life it could be that you are connecting with someone that, that, that someone catches your eye sort of late February and one's energy is a fire energy so you could be dealing with Aries Leo or Sagittarius Next you have the King of Wands. So the King of Wands, this is very passionate and fiery person. This person is very creative and very sexual as well. Very much in their power. They're attractive inside and out. And it, it's someone that has lots of ideas and there's a potential for a lot of growth. So, I mean this this could be you currently in your power the, the things that you're resonating um you know outside of you you know to 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 people around you you know but it could also represent the person that you connect with in late february next we have the Four of Cups. So with the Four of Cups, this is, I suppose, someone being stubborn. Um, maybe someone who's perhaps not very receptive, you know, or someone in deep contemplation, you know. It could be that you are not going to settle for something, nothing less than 100% if you're going to be with someone. Um, you know, you're going to wait for the right person to come along. So if any if any immature people um, do happen to come along before that time, you you might be very uninterested you you might not be receptive you know this is you looking waiting for another option so and you know or perhaps you know not communicating if you do have uh, an ex that's uh, wanting to come back into your life perhaps you don't feel very communicative towards this person um but this is also a card that says that you do have options. So it could be that um, in late February, uh, more than one person actually um, could be very much interested in you. And Cups is water energy, so you could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. Next you have the Moon card. So... The moon is a major arcana card, so this is, you know, this is you perhaps, um, perhaps, you know, um, your past experiences perhaps have not always been so, so brilliant for you. Perhaps, you know, with, with your past ex, you perhaps might, might be looking to come back, you know, perhaps you found out that there have been secrets kept from you things have been hidden from you you know um but but this this also speaks about having some you know fears you know um it might be that you know that you deep down are afraid to <coughs> excuse me afraid to um give yourself completely to someone new in your life you know that after you perhaps had some bad experiences and uh, that's making you very hesitant to be completely open for love, you know. Subconsciously, you know, deep down, you, you, know, you know what you're doing, you know, perhaps, you know, but it's hard perhaps to face, to face your demons perhaps, you know, and you don't, perhaps you, 
perhaps there's a fear for you that you don't want to repeat those patterns and those cycles with perhaps someone new in your life and if you're thinking of reuniting with your ex perhaps you you have a fear in taking your ex back because things weren't really great when you were together and uh, there were toxic behaviors and patterns within the relationship that you you fear uh, you know repeating themselves you know things coming back within the relationship you know old behaviors old habits you know the same old problems so this is you perhaps having a few fears and apprehension next you have the three of wands and wands is fire energy so you could be dealing with aries leo or sagittarius so with three of wands um this is you you're, you're waiting you know waiting waiting for your shits to come in and perhaps perhaps you've got um you know choices to make perhaps you have you know um you know different paths to choose um and and it's almost like you know you're waiting for things to happen you perhaps perhaps uh, you want to find that very special person and even though you do have fears about you know completely opening up to a new person um you are st nevertheless still waiting for that someone special to come in your life and and this card is all about having options so perhaps like i said you know you could find yourself with more than one option next you have the three of pentacles um, the Three of Pentacles, this is Earth Energy. So with the Three of Pen Pentacles, um, this is all about collaborations, partnership, teamwork. Um, you know, um, you know, perhaps it is that, you know, it, when you do meet someone in late February, it, it's probably the focus is probably going to be for you all about building up that trust within the partnership you know learning to trust someone again after having you know perhaps previous bad experiences if, if you're not th thinking of getting back with an ex and this is a new person coming into your life you you really don't want to rush it you want to take your time you want to make sure that you can trust this person so this is all about building up that trust Next, you have the Five of Wands, which is fire energy. So you could be dealing with um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So with the Five of Wands, um, you know, perhaps in the past, you, you've had um, your, your experiences have not been perhaps very good. You know, a lot of the cards do point to you having had previous kind of bad experiences in relationships um with you know there's been lots of fighting arguing disagreements backstabbing you know um and it's it you know at, at one point you know it had you feeling very confused and not knowing what to do in your life and you don't really want to um go back to that you know um and, and and this also, you know, could be about you right now, you know, being confused and not knowing what path to take. Perhaps, you know, for those of you who do have an ex that wants to come back to you, perhaps this is you sort of, you're contemplating, but you're very confused about it and you, you're not sure what to do for the best. Because um, cause you remember all the disagreements, all the fighting, you know, and you remember the backstabbing and the lies and the confusion and the turmoil it caused in your life. It completely unbalanced you and you just want that balance, that equilibrium within your life. So, let's see what nature's whisper has to offer to this read. So, you have maintain your childlike spirit. So with maintain your childlike spirit, can you see that card? Making sure that you can see that card. Um, this is you 
you know, um, I suppose getting in touch with, back in touch with yourself, you know, um, reconnecting perhaps with that inner child, that inner, your inner child spirit, you know, because um, it's memories for you or, or it's or it's a time when there perhaps in your life was perhaps perfect trust because for you the issue is definitely there there are obvious trust issues you know after your bad experiences you know th this kind of encourages you to be to to be fearless to be self-reliant, you know, see the world from child's eyes and feel the excitement of learning new things, you know. Um, don't be stressed out or burdened, you know. Don't don't keep looking at all the negatives and focusing on them, you know. Um, in order to move forward and, you know, give someone a chance, you have to be open for love and you have to be willing to you know build up that trust yes you you know you don't have to rush things and it does take time to build up trust that's been broken you know it, it especially if you're if you're you know getting back with your ex um you know it, it's all about learning to trust each other again and and perhaps doing things in a different way that you did previous you know and and if it's someone new coming into your life definitely taking it slowly enjoying those times together and those moments together you know enjoying it just enjoying having fun and being with someone and it slowly over time get to know someone and then you know start building up trust and next we have with the romance angel true love it says this is the romance of a lifetime so for those of you that have post potentially actually a new love coming into your life late February um, this potentially could be the one this could be true love this could be someone very special I mean obviously you're not you're not going to perhaps um, know this straight away you know like I said for you it's like building up that trust but you obviously don't want you're not going to let your feelings you know cloud um your thoughts uh, to cloud your mind and your you know you want your judgment to be your judgments to be kind of balanced so you're not going to completely be ruled by your heart i suppose you're going to sort of try to find the balance between your head and your heart so you can make the correct decisions for you but that is a good sign that you've got some true love coming in there next you have separation it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon so yes for some of you yes you you have split from your ex and yes maybe for some your ex is wanting to perhaps come back into your life and start again and you uh, want time apart you know you 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 don't you know you could find yourself wanting to you know go away be alone and think about things think about you know get your head straight get your emotions sort of balanced and um and look deep into yourself into your heart listening to your inner voice you know finding out what you truly want you know for those of you who are, who are considering taking your ex back but it could also speak of you before you you know move on to you know new love perhaps you know re-establishing a connection with yourself working on yourself you know learning to trust you your judgment and um you know just getting that balance within you because when you feel ready for love and you feel open and you feel you have that self-respect and you perhaps can understand the trust issues you have perhaps then the new love this true love that's coming into your life you know perhaps perhaps it stands a chance perhaps there's a because this is a good potential for you a good 
a good match for you by the sounds of it so you know um work on yourself work on work on those issues trust issues you have remember you know um the pro the pre previous experiences that you've had you know you can't bring that baggage with you to a new relationship because it's not that person's fault you know they haven't done those things to you so try to see if you can work through them and give love a chance be open to receive love so capricorn that was your extra special love reading i hope you enjoyed it and i wish you all the best and just a quick reminder before you go if you're interested in receiving a private paid reading from me and just click on the links in the description below this video also if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and finally if you would like to subscribe to my channel remember it's free to subscribe and um i'm trying to increase the amount of subscribers i have um so hopefully um i can get some more capricorn subscribing to my channel so best of luck capricorn and i will see you very soon bye